Yeah, good morning students. In this video, I will be discussing on how to analyze the flow of traffic between point to point network. Okay, here flow of traffic in the sense, I need to analyze how many packets sent or how many packets received. Is there any packets dropped? Are any packets duplicated, etc. So let's see the demonstration. So in order to demonstrate the flow monitor, so I am taking the same example which I have taken in the previous video that is a, a simulation of a TCP bulk transfer using NS3 that is program number 5. So I am taking the same program. So first, uh, my uh, I recommend you first to watch this uh, video. Uh, the video link is available in the uh, description box. Uh, so this is the program uh, where we have simulated the point-to-point -point network and uh, uh, we have uh, considered the TCP bulk transfer, where we have transferred a huge amount of uh, uh, file data from sender to the receiver and also we have uh, seen the acknowledgements coming from the receiver side and we have counted the throughput that is the number of packets received at the receiver side that is what this program we have seen so the complete information uh, you can get it in the video link okay so in the same program uh, i want to uh, modify few lines where uh, i need to analyze the flow of data uh, for that sake i need one package known as flow monitor package so i will try to update the same code so here are a uh, few uh, steps to be followed okay simple steps yeah these are the steps so this is what the first step so you need to include these header files okay just i will copy and paste the same code i am just uh, including these header files that is uh, flow monitor dot h header file that helps in uh, analyzing the flow of data uh, that is transmitting between sender and receiver and also flow monitor helper we need and lastly the traffic control module these three headers we need to add then we need to add another two lines that is uh, this one these three lines I am just copying and you need to paste the moment when the sync application is stopped. So here, here I am pasting it. So what is happening here? I am just uh, calling the flow monitor package. The object I have created is flow monitor. So I am just calling the flow monitor helper. The object is flow helper. Using this object, the flow monitor and just installing this flow helper on all the nodes that was install all this flow helper is nothing but the object for flow monitor helper that flow monitor helper i am installing to all the nodes so two nodes so in this program we have simulated or created only two nodes so for the two nodes we are attaching the flow monitor helper so what happens here this flow monitor helper will try to analyze the flow of data uh, between the two nodes both from sender to receiver side and from receiver to sender side so this is the uh, object or uh, the variable where uh, the complete information is stored flow monitor okay so the last step we have to do is uh, we need to add this more line where uh, uh, the complete information is stored in the XML file. Just I am copying this and I am pasting before destroying my simulation time. So here, so once all the uh, data transmission is completed, what I am doing, the complete information is present in this flow monitor variable. So just I am taking that flow monitor variable, I am redirecting to one of the class known as serialized to XML file. So it will just serialize 
to one of the XML file. I have named it as p6.xml. Please don't confuse. This is not an animator file. This is the file that contains the flow monitored data. And we are just uh, uh, the parameter for the serial to XML file is we should first pass the XML file. Then we have two Boolean values which we are making true. Okay, that much. So remaining all the uh, code is same. So here also I am just displaying the total bytes received. Are the receiver side. Okay, so our intention or main objective here is to calculate or to find the statistics of how many packets sent or how many packets received or how many packets dropped, etc. So the complete information is present in this p6.xml file. Okay, let's try to execute that code. So the steps already you know. This time I'm entering into root directory. From there, uh, I'm just changing into. I will just make it full screen to visible properly. Okay. Uh, desktop. From there, I'm going to NS all in one 3.27 directory. From there, NS 3.27, and then give the execution dot slash waf iphone iphone run scratch. What is the file name? P5. Okay. So it takes a couple of minutes. So you may get the same output to what you have seen in the uh, previous program. Okay, it will just give the output as number of packets received at the receiver side. But here our objective is not that one. So we need the complete statistics of flow monitored data, okay, which is available in the XML file. So it takes uh, taking some time. So I think uh, it is loading still. Oh, it is taking long time. Yeah. So now it's uh, building. Just loading slowly, it takes another couple of uh, seconds. Yeah, so almost it took two minutes. Sorry, okay. Yeah, this is what the output we have seen total bytes received is 5, 6. So, this is what are not our objective. So, I will just uh, list all the files here. So the file name of the XML is the p6.xml. This is what the XML. Again, I'm telling this is not the 
animator file. So how to read this file? This file will contain the complete statistics of the uh, flow of data between sender and receiver. So in order to open this, so however I have mentioned the steps here, this is what the step 3, you need to copy the file all those. So uh, you can just refer this in order to get the complete. So however directly I will show you here. So how to read this file? So in order to read this file, first you need to copy one of the file here. Just go to desktop, NS Solomon 3.27. From there you go to NS 3.27. There you can see one folder by name SRC, means source. Click on it. There you can see flow monitor directory or module. Click on it. There you can see examples. Just open it. Here you can see flow mon iphone parse iphone results dot py this is a python file just copy this file and paste it in ns 3.27 directory okay just you paste it so it is uh, already the file is available i have pasted it just you place it i will just replace it okay so this is what the file i have pasted flow monitor iphone parse iphone results dot py so this python file will help us to read that xml file so how to execute now again i am going to command prompt just i'll clear everything try to execute in the same directory ns 3.27 just type since it is a python file just type python then that file name and that is what we have copied that is uh, flow monitor okay this one flow mon iphone parse iphone results dot py then give the uh, for XML file name that is p6.xml and then click enter. Now you can see the statistics here. Here you can see I think the flow ID is attached for the first node. The first node the TCP IP address is 10.1.1.1 and its port number is some default port number it assigned. He is sending the data to 10.1.1.2 that is nothing but your receiver. The port number is 9. So TX is nothing but number of transmitted data means it is giving the uh, rate bit rate 611.68 kilobits per second and received speed it is giving us 496.63 kilobits per second and mean delay also it's calculating some 1509 milliseconds and packet logs normally it will be zero since we don't have uh, multiple nodes only we have two nodes thereby there is no packet loss and this is the flow id2 that is for the second node from receiver to sender the acknowledgement here also it is showing what is the transmission speed, receiver speed, mean delay as well as packet loss. So in this way, uh, you can easily analyze the uh, flow of data between the two nodes using the flow monitor helper. So hope so you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. Bye.